Hello, I'm Alex, and this video is your first time startup video. When setting up your new protein skimmer, start with 3 to 4 inches of sump tank water. Add about 1 gallon to that amount to fill the protein skimmer so when it's running you have 3 to 4 inches of water still remaining. Next, wait for the water level to rise to the filter pad before you turn it on. Now, while holding down the lid firmly, turn it on. Holding down the lid forces the water through the siphon tubes, pushing the air out in front of it. Watch closely as the air purges out the top of the siphon tubes. This only has to be done the first time you turn it on. After that, there's no need to hold down the lid. If you don't hold down the lid firmly enough, you won't push out the air and the water level will rise to the top of the 3 inch tube in your collection container. If this happens, immediately turn off your skimmer and try it again. Next, remove the rubber hose at one end and wait for the water level to drop. We're going to add water into your sump tank continuously while watching the water level rise in the skimmer. Keep adding water until the internal water level is between this nipple and the seam above it. Now you're going to reconnect the rubber hose and draw a line on your sump tank with permanent marker and label it your maximum sump tank water level. Do not exceed this water level. Over time, algae will restrict water flow, so once a month, when the sump tank water level is at the line you drew, remove the rubber hose and see how much higher the water level is. When it gets to be near this black ring, it's time to completely disassemble and thoroughly clean the skimmer's hoses and tubes to reset the internal water level back to its original setting. Now, allow a couple hours for the foam head to be generated before adjusting. You need to have the foam column be in contact with the lid in order to collect the protein waste. The degree of contact will determine the amount of water collected with the skim mate and how light or dark colored the skim mate will look and how fast the collection container will fill up. To adjust this to match your aquarium's protein waste production, slide the float one inch up and the water level will rise one inch along with the foam or down to do the same. Fine tune it to your exact preference and readjust after one to two weeks. For larger aquariums, you can remove the float and slide and put it onto the optional extension rod included and attach the extension rod to the end of the actuator to further lower the internal water level if necessary. Make sure you gently remove your float. When it's time to empty the collection container, do not turn off the power. Disconnect the rubber, tubes at one, rubber tube at one end and wait for the water level to drop and remove the collection container. Like so. 
only warm water and paper towels to clean it and wipe it out. Remove the valve assembly and clean thoroughly inside and out. Replace the filter pad when it appears to be clogged. With the Protein Clean Protein Skimmer, you won't be constantly tweaking and adjusting your skimmer anymore or worrying about the collection container flooding ever again. The Protein Clean Protein Skimmer will self-adjust on its own internal water level, always maintaining 100% protein waste removal regardless of the changing water levels down to one inch or when adding salt or other additives to your tank. Even if you are unfortunate to have a death in the tank, and your new skimmer will automatically adjust itself so you don't have to. You will learn to trust your new skimmer and be free of daily maintenance, allowing you to be away from home on vacation for weeks at a time without worry. My name is Alex, and thank you for watching this video.